social media harassment went down. Down. Long live our journalists. Long live. Long live. More power to our journalists. More power. More power. Forward with press freedom. Forward. Forward. Condemning unwarranted attacks on press freedom in solidarity with the media fraternity. Haki Africa, Amnesty Kenya, Osalama Forum, Defenders Coalition, Paralegal Network, and Kenya Human Rights Commission issue this official statement to strongly condemn the recent attacks on media and press freedom by the Cabinet Secretary for Trade, Moses Kuria. We stand united in our unwavering support for the media fraternity and hereby commit to defend the fundamental principles of free and independent press in Kenya. Freedom of the press is a cornerstone of every democratic society, ensuring transparency, accountability, and the protection of human rights. The recent threats by the cabinet secretary to send home any government agency advertising in one of the media houses in the country is not only unconstitutional and illegal, but clearly communicates the state's intention to interfere with the work of independent agencies in the country. It is further an alarming attempt to stifle critical voices and undermine the media's vital role as a watchdog. Kenya is going through difficult times, riddled with a huge debt skyrocketing cost of living, punitive taxes, and various cases of alleged state corruption. The media at this juncture is crucial to monitor the situation and keep the public informed about the current affairs. This attack can be considered an attempt to intimidate the fourth estate and silence them from highlighting the deteriorating state of our nation and government excesses. As organizations dedicated to upholding human rights and promoting social justice, we firmly denounce any form of government interference of intimidation against media houses. Such actions undermine the democratic fabric of our nation, erode public access to information, and hinder the advancement of truly inclusive and informed society. We express our solidarity with the media fraternity and commend their unwavering commitment to journalistic integrity despite facing unwarranted attacks from the state. We urge the government to respect and uphold the principles of press freedom enshrined in the Constitution and international human rights standards. Together, we call upon, one, the government to ensure the protection and promotion of press freedom as a fundamental right essential for the functioning of a democratic society. Two, civil society organizations, human rights defenders, and the public to stand united in defense of media freedom, amplifying the importance of an independent press in holding power to account. And three, the international community to monitor the situation and exert diplomatic pressure, urging the government to safeguard press freedom and protect the rights of journalists. Our collective commitment to defending press freedom remains steadfast, and we will continue to advocate for the rights of journalists and the media organizations to operate without fear or retribution or undue influence. Na <laughs> <laughs>